It's only a scam if you fall for it. I don't need no fraud. Come up with a scam like that. Drama when you call. I'm on to your little scam. I don't need no fake. I don't know this is not some kind of a scam. No, it's not a scam. Because I don't need no fraud. A lot of scams out there. I'm glad to report, Josh, that the eBay scam I thought I was going to have to untangle. Yes. Didn't have to do anything because the email claiming, oh, I bought it. Could you send it to a new address because my grandma's sick? There was actually a disclaimer on the email from eBay that said, oh, this person did not actually buy your thing. Don't send them. Oh, nice. And I'm like, well, okay, eBay, why would you even forward me the email then? If you're going to then put a disclaimer on it that I almost didn't read saying, oh, yeah, never mind this guy. He didn't buy it. I know this. It's Julie Albrecht, funny. who joins us now from the Better yeah. Business Bureau, Wisconsin division, and who happens to sleep with a guy on this show, okay. joins us now to talk about the scam of the week. Julie, good morning. How are you today? Good morning, guys. I'm fabulous. How are you? Good. Why would eBay do that? They forwarded me the email and then said, oh, ignore this email. It's a fraud. That's a great question. I'm guessing, and this is just a guess here, but I'm thinking that maybe they automatically have something set up where they can tell whether or not the purchase was made by an individual, but they don't okay. have the ability to stop the emails from going through. But they could make it bigger or bolder. It sounds like uh, it wasn't that obvious. So that would be if they made it a little more obvious, maybe. It was at the top, and I should have read it right away, but. You know, my attention span, Julian. I just, all I saw was the guy trying to scam me and I instantly got outraged. I was like, not this again, damn it. So then I read it and I was like, oh, okay, we're good. So what is our scam of the week? Yeah, because there's good. always people out there trying to sucker you into something. What do we got? So this week we're talking about what we call the friend's favor scam. And it's kind of a play on a mm -hmm. traditional imposter scam. And so for this one, you get either an email or a text message that appears to be from a friend or family member. And the message looks really harmless and casual. It says something like one version we saw is, hi, how are you doing? How are you busy? I need a quick favor. And then if it's an email, it usually says sent from my iPhone. And so concerned about you, your friend, you reply, you ask for more details. And then they say, I'm traveling and I need to get a gift card for my niece's birthday. Could you pick it up and then I'll pay you back? And so it sounds like a relatively <laughs> it sounds like a relatively reasonable request, right? It seems like okay, not a big deal. I could do that for them. Um, but then often when you uh, pick up the gift card, they'll ask you either to send the pin number on the gift card or send a photo of the back of the card. And by doing that, you're essentially handing money straight to the person because gift cards don't have protections on them. It's a really interesting one that we've seen a lot lately. So you see that the first thing in your head should be warning, <laughs> warning, yes. scam alert, scam alert. I love the ones, Julie, where it's like, Oh my God, I'm traveling and I've been kidnapped by Colombian drug lords. I need money immediately. Otherwise, I won't be able to make it home. Send it here, please. Right, exactly. And a, a common imposter scam is the grandparent scam. So they'll call or text your grandparents and say, this actually oh. happened to Josh once. His grandma yeah. got a call from somebody saying that, Josh, were you in, in the hospital or in prison or I was, something? I was in jail. I was in jail. <laughs> And I used my one well, phone call. That's a likely call. scenario. Correct. Okay, and ahead. I used my one phone call to call phone my call. grandma, telling her, <laughs> I need you to help bail me out. I need you to send money to XYZ. And my grandma told me that this happened. She's like, well, I hung up immediately. And I said, Grandma, I could have been in trouble. And, her, you know. So and wait, she wait, said, who did she Who did she talk to on the phone if it wasn't you? Someone, some scammer who was so trying someone, to be me. Wouldn't she recognize your voice? Yes, you think. I mean, I don't but, know. Maybe they know. But what I she hung about. up in a hurry without discerning if it's really you. Yes. And I asked her why. And she said, and this was years ago, but she goes, because if you were ever in jail, Josh, your mother would have called me first. And I went, good on you. Oh, That's she true. hung up because she knew it was right. A scam. Oh, right. OK. 
Uh, and that's actually our number one tip too. If you get a text message, an email, or a call for somebody, and you're just not really sure, reach out to them directly and see. And this one's tricky because it's just like, hey, can you buy me a gift card. I'm out of town. It's my niece's birthday. You know, it seems like a relatively reasonable request. But this also made me think of a of a where do you stand? So where do you stand on? doing somebody a favor, doing a friend or family member a favor, because I feel like some people, if they get, if they say, Hey, can you pick me up a gift card? Can you do this for me? They immediately just say, Nope, not doing that. (laughs) Wow. So, well, you know, favor is a broad term, Julie. Are you talking about loaning money to a family member? How about, how about Uh, they really asked you, would you mind picking up a gift card for my niece's birthday, I'll pay you back. Would you do it? Would you ask a lot of questions? Well, I mean, I would say I don't believe in gift cards. Just give cash. That would be my first answer. I don't believe in gift cards. Cash (laughs) is the same as a gift card, only better. Works in every store, no expiration date, no fees, don't have to scratch off a pin cash yeah and then you would just mail the cash to them instead (laughs) right (laughs) we might advise against that i wouldn't even mail the cash i would say next time i see you remind me i've got 20 bucks with your name on it there you go uh josh would you uh, do you go around doing favors picking up gift cards and other such things for people no you don't no i'm a terrible person julie will you do that if somebody asks you i totally would i'm i Often yeah, I'm, I'm I'm bad at saying no to people. So if somebody asks me to do something, I usually do it. I need to get better at saying no. Huh. Okay. So <laughs> no you would do it. Huh? There, yeah. <laughs> I I, I'm going to say, say no to what, you, Josh. Just not other people. Not married to. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, and to think we almost oh, made it through this segment. Oh, That's good. Almost. Yeah. All right. So uh, apparently Jordy is deep into Encanto now. Five straight days. We got a streak going. We got a Cal Ripken like streak going of Encanto. Is it going to be six today, Julie? Oh, for sure. I'm sure. I think Josh wants to watch it more than Jordy does. But what gets me is how he cries every time. I have not cried once at this movie. I just want to say for the record, and Josh cries every single time without fail, even if he doesn't watch the entire movie. I just at the end. Okay. I'll be now that we're sharing here, Julie. I'll tell you this: I cried like a baby at the end of Inside Out. Absolutely, like a baby. That stupid See? movie got me crying. That See? one I get. That the one was very like emotional. Me. That one was very emotional. I get it. Yeah, yeah. But uh, but the uh, the movie Onward, I believe it was with the the pair of pants. Yeah, the pants. That was the worst piece of crap I've ever seen as an animated movie. And it did a lot of business, a lot of money. I'm like, this thing sucks, this whole movie. The I premise sucks, cried. the characters <laughs> suck. You almost cried at that. I did. I didn't, though. I didn't cry. I, just, I almost cried. I can't I'm believe a- how much yeah. he cries at movies. It's just okay. always shocking oh, to me. The- I don't know, Julie, yeah. if you can hear the music, but that means that the second Yeah, well, we got to go oh, now. We sorry. Can- <laughs> this-, oh, no, this is good. All right, log on to BBB.org and uh, make sure you're up to date on the latest scams. Julie, thank you for keeping us aware of the latest little uh, tricks out there. And we will, as always, stay vigilant for scams out there. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks. Good talking to you. There you go.